Uh, hello everyone, my name is Kenny Quash, and today I'm making a video demonstration of animating a, animating a scene in a program called Tunnel 2D. What you don't, don't know about Tunnel 2D is that um, it's an open source and free 2D animation software that, that can be used in both 2D public animation and hand-drawn animation. And uh, right now, I am using a. I, I am doing the hand drawn animation. But first, I'm gonna show you a. Uh, I'm gonna show you a full animation shot of Lady, which is supposed to be a a reanimated shot, but instead of using the uh, the old animation scene from the 1950s, I'm using the uh, recent. I used the audio from a recent remake of a Disney movie, Lady and the Tramp. So what I'm going to do is turn on the desktop audio so you can hear it and play the audio. Okay, I thought those two were going to sit down and join us. Nah, don't worry. They won't bother us anymore. And they're back. Okay, I thought those two were going to sit down and join us. Nah, don't worry. They won't bother us anymore. And they're back. What you see here, um, you see a fully animated uh, lady character where she is relieved that the uh, the chefs are gone and not gonna bother them, and and then whoop, they're they're here and they she was really little really confused. Uh, I never learned about acting animation, but. Still, I am still learning how to make animation. Like, oh, hold on, sorry. Yeah, how I animate the uh, the lipstick animation is that I hear the audio and mimic mimic a mimic a lip sync, creating a mouth shape with my own mouth physically. I hear you don't have to over animate it pretty much, but it's all about the acting, not the 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 quality of, of movements. Like the I believe animation quality is important, but the story is important as well. I believe that bringing both quality and a good story into make a good movie. All right. It, well, enough talking. Um, well, we're gonna start <laughs> animating right now. So what I'm going to do is is to uh, is to move Tram to look look at the direction to Lady. Let's see here. The the green one is a forward frame, and the red one is is the previous frame. And I'm using the uh, onion skin as a guide, so I can animate <laughs> animate the movement right. So what I'm gonna do is to is is to draw some more frames. I'm gonna do a like a slow in and slow out, like slow, slow in and slow out, right? Let's get started. I'm just going to uh, mark this one for onion skin and use that. Oh, right. I, okay, so what I'm going to do is to take a drawing and I'm going to create a blank drawing frame. And I'm. I, it, and well, animation takes a lot of time and hard work, and uh, why? Because it, it takes a lot of mental. It takes a lot of mental to draw the movements. So I got I got to draw the uh, the curve right here. So let's draw a nose. 
Okay, so I just draw three frames for tramp, and as you see, I in between each, I I draw each drawing between the frames, which smooths out the drawings. It's, well, you see, I already done with the poses and the breakdowns, including the uh the mouth shapes when I'm working on a lip sync so right now when with the poses the uh the key drawings the breakdowns and the mouth shape is already done like all you have to do is like uh smooth things out by drawing in betweens the only thing you worry about i think is the uh is a it's an overlapping action, such, such as like a like a hair or cape, or in this in this case the, the ear. But I wouldn't worry about it right now. So what I'm gonna do is to it's gonna draw more three more frames for this for this for this in between between these key poses. So what I'm gonna do is start with the uh, so once again. Create a drawing blank and and draw and draw some in between. So I got uh, and like I said, I got I'm going I'm going to draw each frame to create an arc movement. That way, if I create an arc movement, it would be a more natural feel, more realistic, more natural. Okay, uh, while I am drawing the, the last frame, um, I'll go, I want to uh, explain animation a little bit more. Well, if you want to make a, a really good quality animation shot, the secret to make a good animation, a great quality animation, is in the timing and the spacing. And you might be confused about the timing and spacing, probably you might be new with the whole animation thing. The timing is the the rhythm of movement you know kind of like music you know like it, it hits the beat the music is the rhythm of the beat and timing is the same thing for it's sort of the same thing for animation you it's like creating a movement for your animation is like creating a song i, I know i know it's sort of uh, difficult to explain this i I don't know how to explain it to myself, but like, well, but you have to create a rhythm of timing. It's all the acting. You create, you create acting animation by the rhythm of movement. And the spacing, it, it's just what I'm doing. Like, wait, you see, you see this nose, okay? You see, the drawings of the nose are a little bit too closer, but in some areas they're like they're farther they're farther apart, like this. That's that's how the uh, the a that's how the, uh, the animation moves a little s slow or a little fast because it's all in the spacing. If it's far apart, it's fast, but if it's further closer, it's kind of, it's kind of slow. And as I'm drawing each frame, I don't, I don't focus on the line. I focus on the shape. I'm trying to focus on the shape pretty much. Uh, but well, when I first making animation, I always focus on. I used to focus on the line, but right now I need to focus on shapes. Like, I need. We have to. 
like you need to focus on the whole sheet, not the individual lines. Because if you focus on the individual lines, the the animation won't be looked good, and the, your drawings will look all mushy. Well, Richard Williams said, uh, that you like as you animate, all you have, you need to unplug your devices, like. Don't listen to music while animating, or don't don't watch a movie or something like that. But Aaron Blaze, my favorite artist and animator, and he's sort of like a mentor to me. Well, uh, he well well when he was animating a scene for his own animated short film, uh, Snow Bear, he sort of listened to the music just a bit. As he, I mean, I don't know why, but the, but as I take in his course, uh, he said, as you already, as long as you already done with the poses, the breakdowns, and the, uh, other basics, like, you don't have to worry about the whole, you don't have to worry about it, you can, you can listen to music just a bit, and draw in between, so you have to, you don't, you don't have to worry about I mean, in between, in between is perfect as long as the animation is all smooth. Oh, and uh, also I gotta talk about the uh the frame rate. In this animation right here, I'm using a twenty twenty four frames per second, but in the well, some of you might be using twelve frames per second, but I'm not against that. I like using. 12 and 24 frames per second, well, there, but those, there's also known as 1s and 2s. If you animate on ones, that means you are animating a scene, like, drawing each frame, like, 24 frames per second. You're going to be draw making 24 drawings for one second of an animation. And yeah, this is a really complicated process, but to cut down the work in half, you can you can do is drawing twelve drawings per second, which is drawing on twos. But for me, uh, I like to use a combination of ones and twos. Um, uh, I I using twos mostly for anime, mostly. Most of the action, but if I wanted to use a uh, ones twenty four frames per second, I like to I like to use I like to use ones for a smooth action. Like if it goes fast, I animate on one, so so the the fast moving looks so smooth, like very smooth. And if but if the action is very sophisticated, like, like, or create a beautiful movement, or create a beautiful action, um, I would animate it on ones to make a good quality animation. I know I'm rambling a lot, but I wanted to explain that the, uh, the animation quality is important because you want, if you want a good animation, quality is important. If you learn the basics, I know. I know you, you advocate for a story. I agree with that. I, I mean, story is what makes the, the anime films good. Like. I would love to focus on story, but the quality is all I want. That's what I'm trying to work right now. I want to make sure my anime scene is in a higher quality. <laughs> well. Well, we gotta be honest. Um, 
my animation skills are not really sharpened. Well, I love to make animation like since I was in high school, but but I never really get to learn the basics until I able to afford a online course. And I want to focus on the basics. Because basics is important. This is probably a very long video. When I'm when I'm trying to animate the dog, I I need to think about the form. Like when you're drawing, you can think shapes, but I want to think of form. Like and I, I don't know if you get you understand. I, I as I draw, I need to think of a form of a character. I need to think about what's the shape of a face look like in the third dimension. I need to think of space. And I need to think of a uh, foreshortened. If I draw something that's foreshortened, I will use an overlapping shape. Alright. I'm almost done drawing the frame. No, I gotta be rough for a bit. There's nothing wrong being rough, like, you can focus on, you can focus on refining it, but if, but if I draw roughly, uh, it'll, it'll, it'll click for me, and I'll be worried about refining the drawing layer. Alright, there you go. I think it's smoothed out. I gotta see. As you see, Tramp is smooth, can move smoothly, smooth his head like that. Okay, when I think about it right now, uh, the snout looks pretty weird when I'm animating that, but I think it's okay. I'll leave it, leave it right that. But there you go. This is how I like to animate in Town 2D or the other program, uh, OpenTunes. Um, I'll and thank you for thank you for watching. And I'll, I'll, I hope this is uh, very informative. I been trying to make a commitment of and get into the animation career, and I think of, of naming my own animation company. <laughs> well, not not really a profit company, but I want to pursue into animation. It's, it's my dream to make my own animated films, and, um, and this is what I wanted to do. I want to make my own animations. All right. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.